Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, thanks to viewer Dan, we're going to take a look at how to set up a vase profile and then uh, export it from Cura and then import it into Octoprint and then uh, we're going to try one of our rocket models as a um, a vase or a spiral output because uh, viewer Dan pointed out to me that you can go into open expert settings and then under black magic select spiralize outer contour and as you can see here um, in short it just forms a solid bottom and then uh, does a steady Z rise to create the outer shell so leaving the object hollow so um, so we're gonna go ahead and do this and then so we've already selected this and I'm gonna I'm gonna click OK uh, I'm going to leave it at 0.2 layer height uh, I'm gonna leave shells thickness at um, well actually I'm gonna lower this to point eight so it's a double multiplier of my nozzle uh, I'm gonna leave bottom thickness at 1.2 um, fill density I don't I don't know if this will if this plays effect this one of the adjustments strong how the part becomes uh, for an empty part use zero percent so I'm going to set this to zero and then I'm going to leave the speed set and everything else set the same and then what I'm going to do is um, save profile and uh, if you remember back in the octoprint um, examples we created some any files and so I'm going to create an any file so I'm going to uh, change this to indicate layer height to so temperature of 205 um, no supports uh, and then I'm going to also call this vase so at the end so I know it's my um, uh, vase profile and then I'm going to click Save now I'm already in Octoprint over here so I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to go to Cura engine and then what I'm going to do is import profile and I'm going to browse for that profile that I just created and uh, here it is and I'm going to open that profile and I'm going to confirm and that profile is now um, entered in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click save now and then uh, what we'll do is we will then load um, let's see fab rocket okay so now that we have the profile loaded what we're going to do is we're going to print the rocket and so we're going to slice it again so we're going to select um, to slice it so obviously cure engines since that's the only one we have installed we're going to select the vase option fabricator mini uh, printer profile and then we're going to say start printing after slice so we're going to go ahead and we're going to kick off the slicing uh, that should happen rather quick so as it just barrels through it so it's a very small file um, and then what we'll do is uh, you can see here that the printer is now coming up to temperature and we have time lapse set on Z change so this ought to be interesting and uh, background you can hear the fan start up and so pretty soon this should run so what I'm going to do is uh, we'll cut to the time lapse we'll take a look at it print and then we'll see how it does um, using this new vase profile now for a time lapse video ready set let's go
finished rocket in sort of the body came out okay however it didn't print the fins and I believe that's because the model is uh, probably a little bit too small for it to print the uh, fins as shells now according to the Thingiverse uh, description that this is supposed to be printed as a vase and, but I did scale it way down so um, I think that's what the problem was because you can see it printed the cones um, you know that should go on the fins but obviously no fins so sort of interesting <clears throat> the um, the top isn't too bad it's it's about the same as the last one that I printed at 0.1 layer height um, it's a little bit odd at the bottom here however it, it uh, pretty much did what it was supposed to do as far as the base I'll have to try this on a couple more however um, Again, just wanted to experiment with this a little bit and kind of share, um, you know, what Dan shared with me about uh, uh, being able to print, uh, you know, base type structure with Cura. And uh, so kind of wanted to associate that with, uh, uh, again, Octoprint. So now I have um, uh, a base type profile loaded into Octoprint. So now if I want to print something like that, I can. So... Again, thanks to Dan for this, and hopefully you found this interesting, and uh, you can now print bases with Cura if you didn't know how to do that, and as well as uh, uh, add a base profile to Octoprint. So uh, give it a thumbs up, cheers, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.